Hey everybody, Linda aka The Gamer Girl here, and today I went to a Goodwill first. So we'll show you what I found there. This Goodwill is located in an old neighborhood that I used to chill in all the time when I was in Colorado. And they changed their layout, they had remodeled, so I had to go check it out and see what was new there. So I first started off with the CDs, uh, you never know, you might find a game in there. Just randomly there somebody might not know so i decided uh in sync classic gotta pick that up if you're a 90s baby but um yeah just checking around um just randomly looking at the stacks you know quick glance i didn't see much um i did check and see there's a superstar in the mist uh be prepared you never know you might get a superstar <laughs> So, I did see that there was some random loose games that people were hiding, so I double-checked all the stacks and just glanced at, like, cases that might have been, like, Blockbuster or anything from, like, Hollywood Video, because we had Hollywood Video over here, too. So, yep, there was a random Wii game. Somebody probably either changed their mind about it or they wanted to save it and they knew people would be not looking in the DVD section, so I kept going, um, nope, Sex in the City, two weeks notice, ah, who remembers that movie, Baby Reads, oh, nope, I'm good, thank you though, so I did swing over to the other side, and here is where all the horde of video games, it's a hot mess in here, so it took me a minute to, like, actually deep dive into it, um, it was Tony Hawk, you know, I was looking for like some like different titles that I didn't have so it was like a lot of loose games in this one so mostly PC I did see a random here or there like PC game that I've never seen before maybe like an educational game that was after my schooling time but oh look at that Wendy's uh DVD game disc hmm I don't remember this ever like me getting that. I think I missed that one. It probably was around the time that I didn't see. So, Jewel, uh, Splinter Cell. Nope. I have Splinter Cell. Oh, what's this? I did not know what that was, but if you know what it is, put it in the comments below. What was that little disc that back in the day? Um, mostly some titles that I've already seen before and some loose DVDs. I kept that with me because I was like, hmm. Um, uh, spell book. It looked like a lot of uh, Christian-based games were in the pile, so somebody probably got rid of all their collection. That was stuck together, so I think that was a two-disc together. Hmm, scrapbook. Yep, a lot of, like, Kinect games. Hmm, that was a maybe. Uh, I don't know. I, I kept that in. Then I was like, nah, I don't know about that one. So, a lot of, like, programs for the PC, and another Jill Quest in Bejeweled. So, whoever this was, if it was somebody, they had a lot of, like, filler games and a lot of, like, they loved Bejeweled and Jill Quest, so they were definitely into that kind of game style, so. Yeah, Harry Potter, mm, again with the Jill Quest. <laughs> oh, man. Deal or no deal? Hmm. That was a debate with me, but I was like, nah, I already got that on, like, DS. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that. Look at that right there. That is hilarious. So, I switched down to the bottom because I didn't see anything else. And Scrabble. I did keep that as a maybe because uh, I haven't seen that game. But I wanted a case with it, though. You know what I mean? So, I kept looking around. Um... I decided I'll put that one back. I'm going to definitely keep the Wendy's game for sure. So I kept going through this stack right here. I didn't really see much else other than maybe here or there a PC game. Hmm. Let's see what these games have. So let's see the loose games. Oh, 13 on PC. Heck yeah. So that's a, that's a yes for me on that one. I spy. Who remembers I Spy? I never saw that game. If you know what it is, let me know, please. Uh, what was this one? 
Mm, oh, okay, the sequel to Mist. Okay. I forgot about that game. Uh, and nope, that is it. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it what I found for the Goodwill that I checked out near where I used to live. And we will now switch on over to this mm, B Reader Games, movies, books. There was, you know, you, you never know. I, I checked the book section right before just to make sure because you know I have sneaky people. And I got to see if they had anything that was sneaky. So I was double checking the books, you know. Got to slide in there and see if they uh, hid anything. Because if you see my past game hunting videos, you know for sure that many people have hidden not only games, but also manuals and things of like video game related for like guides and stuff but this was clean like i don't know if there was a worker who came through and cleaned everything it looked really nice and to the side over there was a magazine rack so i double checked before i went over to that one and over there was 50 shades of gray and twilight and <laughs> oh boy I'm not going to talk about those, but yeah, there was some Game Informers. I just double-checked the Game Informers. I am looking for Saints Row. Um, for some reason, I missed Saints Row Game Informer, and I always just double-check to see if anybody had the Saints Row copies, but that was a no on that one. And this magazine rack was difficult to move, so if if I struggled, I'm sorry. It I'm not that weak. It just looked like it. <laughs> So I picked up um, 13 and I picked up the Wendy's uh, Kids Mill game. So we're going to switch on over to the flea market that I found near my old place that I used to live. And this one, it's also remodeled and changed over the time. Um, it's one of those things where one minute it was uh, mostly indoor, then it became outdoor. But I did check this like movie music section. And for me, whenever I see movies and music, I always double check to see if there's anything there before I keep going. But I did see a lot of classic cars and a lot of like old movies and shows that I haven't seen in forever. So I did ask the guy, um, do you have anything here in stock? And he said, no, I do not have any movies or, or uh, video games related stuff. But if you go to the side over here, there is a video game booth. So I was like, okay, sweet. Thank you so much for letting me know. Because he could have just kept me there for a minute and like kept trying to get me to go. So he told me where it was. So I decided I'm going to go check out a couple of the booths to see if there's anything else. But sadly, no, there was not any other booths that were video game related. I mean, there was a video game here or there, but not worth like filming. So here is the actual booth itself. It was really good. Like, I didn't expect it to be that good. Like, there was a couple workers there. It looked like a shop. Like, somebody had a shop and they were just starting out and they didn't know, like, where to go or if they had the money to buy stuff. So I kept looking through everything. Um, I am looking for Super Mario Land for the Game Boy. And I was seeing if they had a clean label one, but sadly they didn't. But they did have one copy of Super Mario Land. And heck, it was cheap. I'm not going to, you know, pass up a cheap deal. And for some weird reason, I can never find it whenever I go to the store. And I, I'm tired of wasting gas for this one. But they had some nice t-shirts also. So I, I might have picked up a t-shirt too. But I was like, you know what? I'm just going to grab the game and uh, get to going on that. So they had a good shop there. I would recommend if you are in Colorado and you see flea markets, double check. You never know. There might be a shop like this just chilling. So I did pick up Super Mario. You can see the label is torn. It was 10 bucks. Can't pass that up. And I'm going to play the game. I'm not going to let it sit on the shelf. So it's going to get more stuff for me. But thank you so much for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. And as always, keep on gaming. I'll catch you next video. Peace, everybody. Linda, the gamer girl. She's here. She's playing games. Linda the Gamer Girl 
she's here, she's playing games to do. 